Hey, this is Taylor with how to create three fully customizable phone icons in less than 30 seconds that you can then use to make your slides look more professional like this. So there's the phone, folder, and email icon. There they are again in a different order. And again, there's a single option. And this is the kind of stuff that can easily cost you a buck or two a pop if you didn't know any better. But if you stick with me throughout this short video, you'll not only see how to quickly get a whole bunch of other icons just like these so that you don't accidentally end up paying money for something that you already own, but you'll also know exactly how to set up a tool that puts thousands of other icons just like them at your beck and call. But first off, let's knock out these three phone icons and just watch how easy this is. On a blank slide in PowerPoint, you want to start by navigating up to the Insert tab, open up the Shapes Gallery, and grab a rectangle and just draw it on your slide. That should take you a couple of seconds. Next, you want to go grab a text box and you want to draw it over your rectangle so that it comes off the edge of your rectangle. That again should take you another couple of seconds, but you need to make sure that the text box over here is bleeding off of the rectangle. Next, you want to type the forward and backward parentheses. And just to make this easier, I'm going to make mine size 250 so that you can see this easier. That again should take you a couple of seconds. From here, you want to come up to the font style input box and just type wing dings, hit enter you're immediately gonna see your phone icons, but you don't wanna stop here. Next, you want to first select the text box with your icons, this is really important. Holding shift, then select the background rectangle. Then from the Drawing Tools Format tab, select Merge Shapes, select Fragment, which breaks the icons out into fully customizable PowerPoint graphics. You can see here, I just need to clean up the pieces a little bit, but this is a trick that very few people know about. And I'm gonna select mine, group them, and make them a little bit larger on my slide like that. Now, before I move on to the next couple of pieces, if that just blew your mind, please take a second and give this video a thumbs up. It's an easy click for you and lets me know what types of videos I should continue to make for my channel. Once you break your graphics out, you can simply, from the Drawing Tools Format tab, you can change the shape, fill color to match a company or project color. I'll choose red. You can choose a shape outline, or if you want to add some texture, you can quickly throw a drop shadow or even just a bevel to give it a 3D icon texture like that. So that's the technique itself. From here, to take advantage of the other free icons like this sitting on your computer, you want to set up a font cutter tool like this, or you can just download mine directly beneath this video. To set this up yourself, you'll need a text box and a shape. I've added a handle to my rectangle to make it easier to grab. And within your text box, you'll just want to add the 223 different character types, including the upper, lowercase letters, and all of these special characters here. Once you have that all set up, you can then take advantage of all the wingding icons, so scissors, bells, books, and other types of stuff. There's wingdings two icons, more pens. I really like these check mark and X's for my own slides. There's also a web dings, another loaded icon font hidden on your computer. In total, that's 886 icons that you can then cut out using the technique that I just showed you. On top of that, once you've set your tool up like this, you can then download other free icon fonts from around the web from sites like 1001fonts.com and cut them out, further saving yourself from purchasing a bunch of icons that you can otherwise get for free. If you don't wanna go through the hassle of setting something like this up yourself, I'll include a link in the description box to download mine, including some additional video instructions on how to use it, some icon fonts I recommend checking out, as well as the 886 wingding icons that I already cut out for myself. To grab these resources, just look for the link below in the description box. Again, icons like these can easily cost you a buck or two a pop, but in my experience, you can often find what you're looking for or something close enough to it for free using an icon cutter tool like I just showed you. To get mine already all made up, just look for the links below in the description box. This is Taylor from Nuts and Bolts Speed Training, and I'll see you at happy hour.